Tonight after Shafted, Burt's Backyard. Then at 8.30, direct from the MCG, the Bombers take on the Tigers in Friday Night Football. This program is proudly brought to you by The Power of Post and 1019 Fox. This is Shafted, the program that asks the question, what thoughtless person decided to put an S in lift? I'm Red Simons, welcome to Shafted. We start tonight's game with six new players, perfect strangers. They've never met each other before, but before we meet them, we must, of course, get rid of one of them. Make your bids, please. Bid an amount up to $500. The amount you bid is what you take with you into the game. And the highest bidder is shafted immediately. Show me your bids. Barbara, $130. Too much. You must therefore go. Now, Barbara, your table three, you with the bruschetta, the sun-dried tomatoes, the olives, and the strong latte. Barbara, you've been shafted. <laughs> Got to do all my own sound effects around here. As I said before, we have with us no master shafter. Let's meet tonight's know-all, shall we? Hi, my name's Alicia, I'm a mother of two, and I gave myself $110. Hi, my name's Craig, I'm a videographer, and I gave myself $100. Hi, my name's Laurie, I'm a public servant, and I gave myself $95. Hi, my name's Lisa, I'm a desktop publisher, and I gave myself $125. Hi, my name's Pete, I'm a human service worker, and I gave myself $90. Welcome to you all. Now, Lisa, you've got the highest remaining bid of $125. There are four categories to choose from. History, animals and nature, entertainment or sports? I'll choose sports, thanks. And so it shall be. Make your bids, please. <clears throat> Bid an amount from your total you're prepared to risk on each of these sports questions. Show me your bids. There you have it. Let's play Shafted. Competitors use a map and compass in what sport, Lisa? Orienteering. Correct. Of which sport is the American Gary Hall Jr. a champion? Peter. Skiing. Snow skiing. No, swimming, I'm afraid. And by the way, Peter, you're uh, locked out of this round because you don't have a stake. What are you doing if you're surf casting? Fishing. In which sport is a spinnaker used? Lisa. Yachting. Correct. By what name do we better know the pugilistic sport of Mai Tai? Kickboxing. I always thought it was a drink. In rugby, a flag man is also known as a touch spot. Laurie. Touch judge. Correct. In tennis, what international tournament is the women's equivalent of the Davis Cup? Lisa. Uh... The Federation Cup. A period of extra play to break a tie is often called... Craig. Overtime. Eh, a sudden death playoff. Which famous American golf club is home to the US Masters? Craig. Augusta. Correct. In which sport is a sulky used? Alicia. Trotting. Correct. In motorsport, car makers like to go by the adage, win on Sunday, sell on what? Lisa. Friday. <laughs> no, Monday, the next day. That bent car. In which sport does Perth Glory compete? Craig. Soccer. Correct. Quitting North Melbourne was AFL legend Wayne Craig. Carey. Yes, but not what I'm looking for. What's his number? 16. Yeah, we've been wrong about that too, wouldn't you? It's in fact 18. Which boxer had a part of his ear bitten off by Mike Tyson? Lisa. Lennox Lewis. No, Evander Holyfield. Let's have a look at those scores. Oh, Peter, nothing.
Lisa, 65. Craig, Laurie and Alicia hovering around the one to $200 mark. Last question of the round. The half question. During the Olympics, make your bids, please. During the Olympics. Do, 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 do. Highest bidder gets it. Do, do, do. Show me your bids. Laurie, for $90. During the Olympics, the competition swimming pool has how many lanes? Eight. Correct. <laughs> Which means you're now in the lead. And you must shaft somebody from the game. Who's it going to be, Laurie? I'm afraid it's going to have to be Peter. He's got the same name as my um, brother-in-law, and I don't like him very much. <laughs> besides a that, he's, very good argument. He's got the lowest score. Mm. Peter, you've got the same name as his brother-in-law and uh, very low score. How do you plead? Well, I'm... Uh, hopefully I'm a better bloke than your brother-in-law, and uh, unfortunately I only had uh, one opportunity to answer because I bid everything uh, to try and get the score up. Unfortunately, I missed out. So I guess that's my, my plea. Laurie, he wants it. He wants it bad. Are you still going to shaft him? That's what he wants you to do. I'm afraid I am, yes. That's what I'm hearing. One of our many self-shafters on the game of shafted. Peter, I think this is weird for me, you see, because if you want me to do it, then all of a sudden I don't want to do it anymore because I'm just playing into your hands, aren't I? Peter, you've been shafted. And when we come back from the break, they'll be even more shafted. This Saturday, a show all pet lovers must watch. When good pets go bad. Plenty is turned video 630 Saturday on Channel 9. 40 weeks, 40 hour sale. Save up to 40%, but only for 40 hours. 40 weeks, 40 hour sale. Save up to 40%. Hurry, hurry. Save up to 40%. Wait, wait, 40 weeks. I've heard all about the supernatural. It's where spirits and ghosts appear in the night. It's a bit scary. <laughs> But now, all these Allen's jellies are made with all natural colours and flavours. I just get them out, and it soon puts everyone in good spirits. It's supernatural, of course. I love Allen's lollies. Unexpected. Make sure you got my mega feast. It's code for the biggest meal in town. Watch the footy tonight on nine with a family sharing block of Cadbury Dairy, Australia's favourite chocolate. Wouldn't it be nice? Welcome back. At the end of the last round, Laurie had $280, which is what every competitor starts this round with. Laurie, there are three categories. History, animals and nature, or entertainment. Which history. is it to be? History, thanks, Red. History it is. Make your bids, please. $280 to play with. To risk. On each of these history questions. Show me your bids. There we have it. Let's play Shafted. First published in 1908 was Dorothea McKellar's famous poem called My What? Craig. Sunburnt Country? No, just My Country. 
The love of field and coppice, of green and shaded lanes, of ordered woods and gardens is running in your veins. Who ever thought I'd get to say that on television when I was in high school, primary school? In 1861, Archer was the first winner of which famous event? Lisa. Melbourne Cup. Correct. Introduced in 1901 and named after the daughter of a wealthy client was which famous car designed by Gottlieb Daimler? Laurie. The Mercedes. What did the Lumiere brothers pioneer? Craig. Movies. Correct. In what year of the 1940s did the first Holden car roll off the assembly line? Craig. 1948. Correct. How many US presidents have been assassinated? Craig. Three. Four. So far. Which royal ordered that Mary Queen of Scots be beheaded? Craig. Queen Elizabeth I. Correct. In what country was the brazier invented in 1902? Craig. France. Yes. Which international playboy died in the same car smash that claimed the life of Princess Diana? Lisa. Um, died, died, uh, Al Fayed? Yes, I'll accept that. Lord Baden Powell best remembered as the founder, Craig. Boy Scout movement? Yes, but what was his first name? You don't know, it was Robert. Which old queen died on January the 22nd, 1901? Craig. Queen Victoria? Correct. St Paul's Cathedral in London was designed in the 1600s. Craig. Sir Christopher Wren. Very good, correct. In what country was Adolf Hitler born? Craig. Austria. Very good, correct. In 1896, the Heinz Company adopted the advertising slogan boasting of how many varieties? Craig. 37. 57. The famous plane associated with Charles Kingsford Smith was called the Southern... Craig? Cross. Correct. Let's look at the scores. Craig, $820. Lisa, $560. Laurie and Alicia around the $200 mark. One more question in the round. The last half question. Which controversial balloon? Make your bids, please. Which controversial balloon? Highest bidder gets it. Show me your bids. Craig, it's your question for $250. Which controversial blueprint for the Nazi movement was written by Adolf Hitler in 1924? Mein Kampf. Correct. Which means that you have $1,070 and the opportunity to shaft somebody from the game. Who's it to be, Craig? Um, Laurie. I'm sorry, Laurie. Sorry, Laurie. Laurie, <clears throat> do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Well, you don't really belong here, I have to say. Laurie, uh, why don't you um, tell Craig why he's made a terrible mistake? Well, I think you're making a mistake because you're leaving yourself with um, two women, and we know how unreliable they can be. Huh. Uh, Craig, what uh, do you think? I'm with you, Laurie. See you later, Lisa. Jeez, it's got ugly in here. Lisa? You've been shafted royally. And when we come back from the break, we'll have more ugliness and sexism. Razor is back. Razor is back. Razor is back. Oh my God. And so is Niles. Mama. And so is Ted and Tapney. Monday night on Channel 9. Are you looking for the easy way to be a survivor winner? Grab a Lay's, Doritos, Solo or Pepsi and you could win. Simply check under the cap, tab or scratch your game card for your chance to win millions of instant prizes. It's the easy way to win. So grab your favourite snack or drink and you could be a survivor winner. From tomorrow, Target is giving a flat 20% off the mark price of Manchester. 20% off sheets, curtains, quilts, pillows and towels. But hurry, because Target can only decrease their prices for so long. What sort of person are you in the morning? One that's easily irritated? Nivea for Men Aftershave Balm soothes and moisturises your skin after every shave. Nivea for Men Aftershave Balm. For men who dare to care. What's this? Something Mum's tried out in this. Tastes alright. 
Better than the last one. Supposed to be good for us. Then it's horrible. You just said you liked it. Yeah, but we can't let Mum know that we like something that's good for us. Why? Because she'll think it's not healthy and stop giving it to us. Then it's horrible. Right. At Blockbuster, you can now rent selected new releases for three nights, like The Fast and the Furious and Rush Hour 2. Take home free night new releases and make it a blockbuster night. This is it! This is it. Limited edition Barina Equip. $2,000 extra value. Alloys, air, front power windows. What extra value? This is it! Welcome back. At the end of the last round, Craig had $1,070, which is what everybody starts this round with. Now, at the start of the game, Craig, you described yourself as a videographer. That's I right, wonder if I've, uh, if I've ever seen any of your work, perhaps on the internet or something. <laughs> uh, not quite, I'm not quite at that level yet, um, but I'm working towards it, I hope. Just doing weddings. And yeah, stuff, that's right, sort of. Yes. All right, Craig, you have uh, two categories to choose from, animals and nature or entertainment. Um, animals and nature, thanks, Reid. And so it shall be. Make your bids, please. How much are you prepared to risk on each of these questions? In the category Animals and Nature. Show me your bids. Mm, fairly conservative. Let's play Shafted. According to the book, the top ten of everything, the most intelligent breed of dog is the border. Oh, Alicia. Collie. Correct. What beginning with P is the mass of plant and animal life that drifts near or on the surface of oceans? Lorry. Plankton. Correct. The smallest of all birds is the bee Craig. Sniffer. Bee <laughs> sniffer, yeah, right. The bee hummingbird. A herd of what animals is called a mob and also a troop? Lorry. Kangaroos. Correct. After World War I, which flower became a symbol for the tragedy of war and the renewal? Craig. Poppy. A poppy, the symbol of the renewal of life. Ragdoll, British shorthairs and Bengal are types of what animal? Lorry. Dogs. Cats, not dogs. Which red-leafed plant beginning with P is associated with Christmas? The poinsettia, and for what it's worth, I didn't think so either. Which type of elephant has the largest ears? Laurie. African. Correct. Could you do an impression of one? No. What is both a type of toy spaniel and prison movie starring Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman? Craig. Papillon. Correct. Warrigal is the Aboriginal name for which Australian animal? Laurie. Koala. No, the dingo. What type of insects include the march and house? Craig. Fly. Correct. What beginning with C is the name for cone-bearing plants? Craig. Conifer. Correct. The largest member of the deer family has what name in North America? Laurie. Moose. Correct. In the bird world, which lives longest? A sparrow, a pigeon or an African ostrich? Lorry. African ostrich. Absolutely right. Up to 50 years, apparently. What type of tree are black butts, iron barks, and stringy barks? Alicia. Gum trees. Yes, they are. They're eucalypts. Let's have a look at those scores. Oh, all pretty much much of a muchness. All around the $2,000 mark. Which means that this half question is going to make all the difference. It's the last question of the game. Your last chance to have a crack at getting ahead. Here it is. Manhattan is one of. Make your bids, please. Manhattan is one of. Dot, dot, dot. Show me your bids. Craig, it's yours for $1,500. Kind of a make or break question, this. Manhattan is one of the films by which director? Um, Woody Allen. Correct. 
which means you are now in the lead. You must now choose who to shaft from the game. Who's it to be, Craig? Um, Alicia. How did I know you'd say that, hey? Alicia, Craig has already shown himself to be uh, one of the boys, I suppose. Make your, uh, make your appeal to him, see how you go. Well, I believe that to have things covered evenly, you need me, rather than it becoming a thing of mateship. I've been in there trying and answering some questions and I've got some money up too. Um, I think you should shaft Laurie. Craig, are you going to stick with that decision? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with that decision. Mm. Thanks, Reg. What can I say? She's got a ticket to ride, and I don't care. Alicia, you've been shafted. <laughs> and when we come back from the break, Craig with $3,530 and Laurie with $2,675 will decide whether they're going to share or shaft. New Cadbury Chocolate Mousse. A rich, creamy centre smothered in Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate. You won't want anyone to spoil the ultimate chocolate pleasure. At Crown, you can now get a delicious all-you-can-eat Aussie buffet for just $7.50. Or, if you prefer, an all-you-can-eat international buffet for just $9.90. For the best value food in town, come to Crown. for a song at the good guys. Pay less, pay cash. Listen to today's best music now on The Fox. I can't take the person staring back at me. I'm a hazard to myself. 101.9. Today's best music. Today's best music sounds like The Fox. Nice rackets! 900 bucks, fella! Shop smart at Sports Mart's mega holiday set with up to 50% off top brand football boots, sports shoes, New Balance and Russell Athletic Sportswear. Northcote, Noble Park and Moorabbin, Melbourne's largest sports warehouse. Limited edition Astra Equip, $2,500 extra value. Alloys, air, cruise control. What extra value? This is it, this is it. Next, gorgeous gardens, Palominos. And me too, Tara Moss. You're going to check out my backyard. Burke's Backyard, next on Nine. Shafted, the final countdown. Laurie has brought $2,675 into the game. Craig, $3,530. A cash total of $6,205. Gentlemen, you have a choice. To share or to shaft. If you both shaft, as you know, you get nothing. If you share, you get $3,103 each. If one shares and the other shafts, the shafting player gets $6,205. Now, in my experience of this game, people tend to think that if there's not a huge amount of money involved, well, I might as well shaft. What's the point? What's the point when the shared amount is not very big? Well, let me tell you. If you have $3,530 each, that's a whole lot more than having nothing each. A potential of the situation. Gentlemen, it's your decision to share or to shaft. Make that decision now. For the viewers at home, here's what Laurie and Craig have decided. Hmm. But of course, gentlemen, 
We heard talk of mateship earlier in the day. Let's hear a little more talk about mateship right now. Craig? Laurie, listen, I got married a month ago and I was supposed to go on my honeymoon with my, my wife just recently when ANSET collapsed. I need just under three grand to refinance that. I'm really willing to share. Um, we both brought about the same amount to the, to the table here, so look, I really, I'm dead keen to share, mate. Craig? Laurie? Well, actually, I only came here to get $3,000 because I'm taking my kids on a cruise and um, that's what I figure that's going to be to spend the money, so I'm, I'm happy to share as well. Very good. I have a suggestion, gentlemen. With the $3,000 that you each have, after you've both shared, maybe you could go on a holiday together. Let's make that share sharp decision. Let's make it finally, once and for all. Let's make it now. The share or the shaft, make that decision now. For $6,205, here's what Laurie decided. Shaft, hmm, somebody's not going on a holiday. And here's what Craig decided. Shaft, well, nobody's going on a holiday, except, well, maybe me. This has been shafted. Good night. That was the final Shafted in this weeknight series. Beginning Monday night, 7 o'clock weeknights, brings you the award-winning fun of Frasier. Stay with Nine Now for Burke's Backyard with celebrity gardener Tara Moss, followed by Essendon versus Richmond on Friday Night Football from the MCG. going to share with him but um, I wanted to come back tomorrow night to have another go so that's the reason why I shafted. Well obviously I would have liked the money you know that's why I went to shaft but um, speaking of mateship early on in the show if maybe if Laurie and I had a chance to see a bit better eye to eye we should have shared the cash and both walked away winners instead of both losers. The program was proudly brought to you by 1019 The Fox and the power of post.